What's going on YouTube? Welcome to this episode of Coin Capital. Today I'm doing another stock analysis video or projection video in, for a single stock. And uh, I think this company is going to do very well for 2021. It's a nice long uh, term stock, but it's also been doing well in the short term. And uh, I foresee this doing well. And soon do other analysis. Um, the stock is Ocean Power Technologies Incorporation. If you've never heard of them, the ticker is OPTT. And they're on the NASDAQ. Um, so let's get started with the company itself. So if you've never heard, this company is a renewable energy company and they develop and commercialize proprietary systems that generate electricity by harnessing the renewal, uh, renewable energy of ocean waves in North and South America, Europe and Asia. So ocean waves to generate a form of renewable energy that can be used. They have a BP3 uh, power buoy system that generates power for use independent of the power grid in remote offshore locations. The company also provides hybrid uh, power buoy products, uh, subsea battery systems and payload integration services, as well as marine installation services. And they offer electric power and real-time data communications for remote offshore and subsea applications and markets such as offshore oil and gas, grid defense, security, science and research and communication. The company serves public and private entities and agencies require remote offshore power. So Ocean Power Technologies was actually founded in 1984 and they're currently headquartered in Monroe Township of New Jersey. Right now, uh, especially because of the incoming Biden administration, the need for more green and renewable companies that have innovative technologies within the uh, industries especially the electrical equipment and parts industry and industrials are needed more than ever and uh the stock is foreseen to grow uh, a lot recently uh they've gotten more analysis projections cnn money has one analysis saying that they could hit up to uh $1,200 a share which would be a 40,000 percent increase within a year I honestly don't see that happening, but that goes to show you how some people think this big this company can grow. Honestly, I think this is going to do well in the future. Not that well. That's insane. Uh, I don't know about that, honestly. But if we look at the company itself, um, you know, we had a 52 week range of 33 cents to four dollars and 46 cents. So a big open range. But their volume is super high right now with about 26 million shares and on average it's about 6 million. Um, you know, Yahoo Finance uh, claims they're overvalued. I think they might be overvalued, but not for the long term at all. Um, not for the, not really even for the short term. I, I think it's, it's a good company. They have a market cap of under $100 million, which is not a lot at all for such a high volume so it you know it's a stock that's getting a lot a lot of uh a lot of traction recently and um, it's something that people are looking into um i'd see another estimate that puts the stock at about ten dollars within a year it's still a very hefty gain it's still something you want to get into um i've seen low reports of about six which is still like a hundred percent gain so i mean honestly that's still good um they do have an eps of negative 0.8 uh, that's something to keep your lookout on your eye on and uh they had their earnings data on december 7th 2020 and they don't pay a dividend they're they're, they're a cheap stock um i mean technically they're a penny stock on the nasdaq so uh yeah out of their shares they have about one percent held by institution and that's also 1% of float held by institution with 17 holding. Uh, the biggest ones are Renaissance Technologies, uh, Virtue Financial, uh, Citadel Advisors, and the Vanguard Group. Um, they don't have much, but I mean, there's some holders. Um, the Fidelity Extended Market Index Fund uh, actually holds about like close to 100,000 shares which is not bad, but there's not big institutions holding it. It's a smaller company, you wanna keep that in mind. So it's more of a, a pretty much a growth stock coming from the bottom up. So that's something you wanna keep in mind as well. Today though, the stock hit uh, almost uh, what, 370 a share. Uh, and 
fell all the way down to about three. I mean, people are saying it's too early to tell why. And there's some pump and dump going on here. Some uh, big holdings just uh, bailing out at the last minute. Honestly, if for long term, that's not a super big deal, but it's something you want to look at. And uh, I mean, this would, I think this is going to hold through $6 within the next five months i think that's very possible or doable um you know we got we got it we got to keep a look on but uh we're seeing a, a bullish trend for the future and this is something you want to look into i think it's a pretty good company um i think it's a good industry to get into it's very innovative it's new so uh thank you for watching make sure to like comment follow and subscribe I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure to follow my TikTok and Instagram at Coin Capital.